Hi, let's discuss the solution of the given question here. What is the given question? Sin power 2x plus cos power 2x lies between which of the following values? First, let me write the given expression. Solution. The given expression is sin power 2nx plus cos power 2nx. Here the power n is there. Power n is there. Before going to evaluate this expression, first let me explain a small concept. What is that concept? x power n. Suppose if x lies between 0 and 1, that is 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 1. Now we will discuss the nature of the powers of x. Take, we'll calculate x and x square, x cube. Suppose if I take x equals to 0.5, see which is equals to 0 0.5. 0 0.5 whole square how much? 0 0.25. 0 0.25 whole square how much? 0 0.125. Suppose if you observe as n tends to infinity, the x power, the x power n value tends to 0. So if the values of x lies between 0 and 1 only, if x greater than or equal to 1, x power tends to infinity. See that is the specialty of x power n when x lies between 0 and 1. So from that we can conclude what is that x is greater than or equal to x square or greater than or equal to x cube and so on. So we are using the same concept for the given expression also. Suppose if you observe here there is a sin power 2nx. Sin power 2nx means n is a natural number. Suppose if you substitute n equals to 1 what is the first term sin square x. Here already we knew that sin x is always lies between minus 1 to 1. Sin square x 0 to 1. So like this x, sin square x is also lies between 0 to 1. Why? Because 2n is a multiple of 2. Multiple of 2 means it is always positive. That's what greater than or equal to 0. So I can write now 0 less than or equal to x square less than x. So let me write here sin power 2nx which is less than or equal to sin square x. That is the first value of sin power 2n. So I wrote the uh, I wrote one x inequality from the given information. That is from the given information means default sin x is always lies between 0 to 1 or minus 1 to 1 sin square x 0 to 1. Now similarly let me write for cos 2 power n the same. Cos is also lies between minus 1 to 1. Cos square x is also cos square x always lies between 0 to 1. So we can write now 0 less than or equal to cos power 2nx. Cos power 2nx which is less than or equal to cos square x. Now we got two inequalities. As we require the, this expression that is sin power 2nx plus cos power 2nx. So now we are going to adding these two inequalities. Let me add 0 plus 0 respect to terms. 0 plus 0 means 0 less than or equal to sin power 2nx plus cos power 2nx, uh, yeah, cos power 2nx less than or equal to, it's over, middle terms, less than or equal to sin square x plus cos square x. Now, finally, we can write, this implies, this implies sin, yeah, yeah, let me write here, 0 also, let me write here clearly, 0 less than or equal to sin power 2nx plus cos power 2nx which is less than or equal to sin square x plus cos square x 1 which is equal to 1. So finally we can conclude the expression sin power 2nx plus cos power 2nx always lies between 0 and 1. This is the final conclusion. Now let us compare with the given options. What are the given options here? It lies between minus 1 and 1. No, this is incorrect. It lies between 0 and 1. This is the correct. This is the final conclusion. What is the process we applied here? Simply we adopt the concept of the range of sine means sine is always lies between minus 1 to 1. So sin square x is always lies between 0 and 1, like that cos square is also. So we form two inequalities and then we add those two inequalities. Finally, we got the required conclusion.